So let me ask you a question. How much thought do you put into taking a shower? It's probably not very much. Most of us shower every day, and we never give it a second thought. But for millions of people living with lower extremity limb loss, this simple task is a struggle. Now imagine trying to balance on one leg with your eyes closed while you're in the shower. If you imagine slipping, wobbling, maybe even falling, you're probably right. The average person spends about 90 seconds in the shower with their eyes closed. We're washing our hair, scrubbing our skin, or just taking a moment to relax in the comfort of the warm water. However, the average time someone can balance on one leg with their eyes closed, it's only about 10 seconds. Plenty of people fall in the shower with both legs. I definitely have. The CDC says that each year, about 235,000 people visit the emergency room due to fall-related injuries that occurred in the bathroom. For an amputee, a fall can be life-altering, resulting in further surgeries, higher levels of amputation, and a longer recovery. For them, shower chairs are necessary. Today, I'd like to share with you how a simple school project helped me find a solution to this problem. But first, let's take a moment to discuss how complicated balance really is. Balance is a complex process that takes information from our eyes and what we see, our joints and muscles, and the vestibular system in our inner ear, it's all working together to determine our position in space. It's so complicated that just understanding what we're seeing takes more than half of the brain's processing power. Think about it like the way that newer vehicles use lane sense technology. They're using cameras, radars, sensors, and LIDAR to keep you in your lane and away from others. If any of these systems fail, your car yells at you or you sideswipe someone. The brain works the same way. Amputees are at a disadvantage to begin with. They're missing a vital part of information that the brain uses to be able to keep us steady. Legs are heavy. From the thigh to the foot, the leg itself generally contributes to about 17% of a person's body weight. So if you weigh 150 pounds, your leg weighs 26. If we were to suddenly take that much weight off of one side of your body, you would wobble. Your center of mass changed. However, the effects of limb loss are more than just the physical loss. You lose independence, mobility, bodily autonomy, and a lot more. It's not hard to imagine feeling frustrated or depressed when you have to change the way that you perform basic everyday activities, like taking a shower. In fact, amputees are more likely to experience depression, PTSD, and suicidal ideations. A study conducted by the National Survey on Drug Use and Mental Health found that nearly 16% of traumatic amputees will attempt suicide. This is compared to just 0.5% of the general population. I know about this through my friend Nikki. Nikki is a friend and was a fellow student at the university with me. She lives with limb loss, and we got to talk about some of her struggles about life after amputation. One of the things that stood out to me was that at 22 years old, Nikki hadn't been able to stand in the shower in over two years. I learned a lot about this. To graduate from the University of Mississippi with a biomedical engineering degree, you're required to complete a senior design project. We were tasked with finding a solution to a current problem within the medical device industry. I thought about Nikki and how badly she wanted to be able to stand in the shower. I learned that there were no true solutions to this problem. You have to use a shower chair. We come so far in the development of prosthetics from microprocessors in the knees and ankles that automatically adjust to your walking rate, to sensors and prosthetic arms that detect muscle firings to operate bionic hands. But we still haven't found a way to let lower limb amputees stand in the shower. Prosthetics are expensive. They're very rarely waterproof. Insurance doesn't cover the cost of these components, deeming it medically unnecessary. Waterproof covers do exist, but they have some drawbacks. Think about it like taping a garbage bag over your cast when you break your arm. They risk failure, letting water into the prosthetic. Another issue is that wearing a prosthetic 
keeps you from being able to wash your residual limb. Just like your feet, your residual limb has to be washed. After you wear a liner, prosthetic socks, and a socket, your leg gets pretty sweaty, especially in the Mississippi heat. To solve this problem, my business partner and project partner, Jenna, and I, we, we measured every imaginable measurement for Nikki. We did market research, we researched materials, we drafted ideas, and we used every ounce of CAD knowledge we had to be able to finally create a design. We eventually were able to 3D print a prototype for Nikki to use. We created an adjustable, portable, comfortable device that allows lower limb amputees the freedom to be able to stand in the shower safely and the ability to wash the residual limb. It's lightweight, it's easy to use, and it's accessible to anyone who's ever felt limited by the use of a shower chair. The adjustable height means it works for every level of lower limb amputation. Nikki was a part of the design process every step of the way. The first iteration of our device included her favorite colors, the pink. It was based on her measurements, and it included her design ideas. We even named our company after her service dog. Our device is named the Antler in honor of her dog, Moose. When Nikki was finally able to use the Antler, something changed for her. It wasn't just about the convenience of being able to stand in the shower. It was about feeling like herself again. Seeing the impact the antler made on Nikki's life was so inspiring that Jenna and I decided to take it a few steps further. We entered into a business model competition on campus. and We were honored to receive an award. All we wanted to do was generate interest in our idea. From that moment on, we found that what started as a simple idea and a class project could have a profound impact on the lives of thousands of people facing this struggle. Currently, we're working to meet the development and design potential of the antler. When I take a look at the last two years, it's not lost on me that my class project has led me to where I am today, standing on this stage, giving my TEDx talk. If you would have asked me, I would have said it was impossible. I've seen that this small idea that was intended to help a friend has the ability to help thousands. So it just goes to show you that your smallest ideas can have the biggest impact. So the next time you take a look at a problem that seems so insignificant that you might overlook it, or you think that someone else can handle it, Take another thought. You never know where your idea might take you. Thank you.